he is stalking you hi guys welcome back to my channel a few things i want to say is that all of my story times are real i don't know if anyone was like concerned about that or like really cared but like all of them are like very real and like real experiences and not exaggerated really like if i'm gonna exaggerate a video for entertainment i'm gonna specify it but yeah i just wanted to just put that out there i didn't know if anyone really like cared or anything this next video today that i am going to tell i am like excited for but at the same time super nervous for because it requires me exposing someone that i had went to high school with and chances are anyone that watches this from my high school will know exactly who i'm talking about and honestly i've only told like two people from high school this story like barely anyone knows the story from high school so this is gonna be a little interesting and i really hope it doesn't backfire i'm really sorry but honestly the person i'm about to talk to shouldn't ha shouldn't have done it if he didn't want to get exposed so i had this friend in high school and it's funny because i had a crush on him like in like middle school like eighth grade and then I'm pretty sure I had a crush on him again freshman year of high school, but he made it clear that he didn't like me back. We just became, like, really close friends. Like, we always messed with each other. Like, I considered him one of my better friends, like, one of my close guy friends. Honestly, probably my best guy friend in high school, at least. So, this is junior year of high school when it all started. And what happened was I had gotten a notification on my phone, and it said his name, his email address... And it said, you are now sharing your iCloud photos with this person. And I'm not going to say his name just because, like, I just don't think it's right. But let's just call him Tony. Let's just go with Tony. I got a notification saying that I had shared my iCloud photos with Tony. When I saw that, I was like, that's weird because... I don't recall ever sharing my iCloud photos with him and I don't see why I would do that. So I text, I sent him a screenshot of it because I trusted him. At this point, I had no suspicions that he would have been hacking me, but I sent him a screenshot of it and I was like, hey, like, wh what is this? And he was like, oh, I don't know. Like, what? Like, why does it say that? And I was like, I, I don't know. And I was like, can you see my iCloud photos? And he goes, no. And I was like, oh, well, that's weird. So I'm just gonna like, unshare them and he was like yeah that's really weird like okay and like that was that for an entire year so that was end of junior year that happened all of senior year i me being stupid i had been getting logged out of my snapchat and like you guys know like once you get logged out of your snapchat it's because chances are it's because someone else had logged in on a different phone i was getting logged on my snapchat for an entire year an entire year and i always thought it was a snapchat glitch i would literally like go to bed and i'd wake up the next morning and my snapchat would be like logged out of and i was like I, I literally i'm so in denial and stupid that i never thought anything of it so finally one day i turn on my snap maps location i hadn't had ever had my snap map locations on and i had a boyfriend senior year i remember one night i actually was at ruckers my my now college but i was visiting ruckers for an orientation and it was like maybe like april of my senior year for like the new student orientation and we stayed overnight like my i was with my family like it was a whole like thing my ex was hanging out with his friends that night so like i didn't really like talk to him that much throughout the night but around like 1 30 in the morning he had texted me like saying he missed me like all, all this cute things like whatever and um i hadn't seen it because i was asleep so he went to go snapchat me and he like checked my snap maps like just like i don't know why but he just like happened to see like my snap map was up or whatever and we already had locations shared so like it wasn't like it was weird that my ex was checking my snap map like whatever and my bitmoji had showed up on top of tony's house around like 1 30 in the morning and tony lives in my old hometown and that is two hours away from Rutgers. so my ex was like like what like so he screenshot it and sent it to me so i woke up the next morning and i have messages from my ex and he's like rail like why does it say your bitmoji like was here like at this house like that's so weird like i know you're at Rutgers. like why would your bitmoji be here and i was like i don't know that's so weird that's really weird because a lot of my friends like live in that neighborhood and i check my snapchat and i'm logged out so at this point i'm like what the hell's going on like who is logging into my snapchat and I had done a little digging and I realized that my bitmoji was on top of Tony's house. So at this point, I'm like still in denial. I told my parents and they were like freaking out. They were like, he's hacking you. He's trying to get into your accounts. Like he is stalking you. 
and through like your phone or like through your social media because I also told them about the incident that happened over like almost over a year ago now with the whole iCloud photo sharing thing. They were extremely angry and they were like, I never trusted him, like all this stuff. I text him and I sent him the screenshots of my Bitmoji on top of his house. And I was like, was there a party at your house last night or something? Like that someone would have logged into my Snapchat. Like were the people over at your house? And he was like, no, like no one was here, but there was like a party down the street. And I was like, I don't know. Like my Snapchat Bitmoji showed up like exactly on your house. Like, is there a reason why that would happen? And he was like, I have no idea. Like that's so weird. And like played it off really well. And he was like, I'm so sorry that that happened. Like all this stuff. So I let it go. And I still continue to be his friend because I'm just stupid. <laughs> And so I let it go and I had changed like my Snapchat password and everything. A month or two go by and Tony, so this is where, this is the point of the story where people are going to know exactly who I'm talking about. <sighs> so Tony had graduated a few months early. He graduated, I think, a month ahead of us. Like he was able to not have to go to school for the last month of school for senior year. And he did this because he is on a lacrosse team in another country, like the National Bermuda Lacrosse Team. Ah! <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, like, I know exactly who you're talking about. Yes, it is him. And if you are watching this, I am sorry, yeah, but whatever. I'll say that later. So, <sighs> he's on the Bermuda lacrosse team men's lacrosse team like national i don't really know i had gotten a google alert notification that someone was trying to log into my google account and google noticed that it was from a weird ip address so they didn't allow them to log in it said that the password was correct and they just said like if this was not you like please report it like whatever so i click on the ip address and the ip address went directly to bermuda at this point i'm like okay, this is the third time now that something has happened that was not coincidental. This just doesn't make sense. Like, why are you trying to get into my Google alerts? Why, like, why are you trying to get into my Gmail account? Why were you hacking my Snapchat for a year? Why were you so obsessed with receiving my photos? And it's not even like I had like any kind of exposing photos on any of my accounts. So it was very weird to me that he felt a need to like get access to my photos. After that happened, I changed all my passwords completely, like nothing related to anything that I had before. I took him off of social media for a while. He's on he's now back on my social media, so I know he's going to see this. It was very weird for me. It was a very privacy invading experience for me. It honestly did like upset me a lot. I remember like crying to my ex like because I just felt really weird and invaded on and my ex's dad was a private investigator at one point so I ended up telling him the whole story and he was like he's definitely stalking you. Like I'm sorry Rayo. like he definitely is. If you would like like I can reach out to his parents since I'm still a licensed private investigator, like everything like that. It was very weird for me to confront him, especially knowing him for so many years. So I never did. And I guess this is my way of confronting him now. <laughs> Ever since then, I haven't gotten any kind of suspicious activity or anything on my accounts. And I think it's because I changed my account so drastically. And the last thing that happened with the Bermuda thing, I never even told him about. So I don't think he knows that I know that happened. I was sick of hearing his excuses, and I knew that he was just gonna deny it. So I just didn't, I just never told him and I just cut him off for a while. I haven't talked to him since high school ended, really. I know he is still on my social media, but other than that, like I haven't talked to him. <sighs> wow, that just feels like a brick just like came off my chest. Like I've never been able to tell that story and that was just like really satisfying. But yeah guys, if you are watching this, Tony, I am sorry. And I'm sorry that people from high school are probably going to know who I'm talking about. But honestly, you shouldn't have done it. Like, you shouldn't have been trying to get into my accounts. I don't really know why. I don't know how you got my passwords. To this day, I still have no idea. And I'm obviously, like, willing to forgive and forget. Like, I have. Like, I haven't tried to reach out to you and, like, press charges or freak out. Because, honestly, I feel like I could have gotten you in a lot of trouble just because, like, my ex's dad told me like if I really wanted to take it to the next level like I could have and I didn't because I still was holding on to our little friendship that we had in high school I don't know what else to say but yep <laughs> this is so awkward <laughs>
thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you have not yet seen my other videos those ones are very interesting too in my opinion please go check them out i promise the stories only get better from here so if you guys subscribe that would be great i'll see you guys soon bye